guys, I'm back with a new video and let's react to Against the Current's new album! So, I'm back with a new reaction and I'm so stoked about this one because, you know, if you know me and it's, it's actually like really curious, like Against Current are my favorite band and I actually like transition my uh, channel into what it is now with their past lives reaction like past lives album reaction so this whole thing is like really special to me and I've been a fan of them like for I don't know I, I would say almost 10 years um, eight years I think they didn't even have their first EP when I became a fan of them uh, so yeah, I've seen them through everything and yeah, I'm also really stoked about this EP, it's not an album, it's an EP and not only it has like a really a nice concept from what they said, it's like a two-part album, so two EPs and they have completely different styles and vibes so this one is called Fever and from what I understand it's a bit more like rock and like the theme it's fire and like reds and all of that so I'm a big fan of that I always prefer their heavier like rocker songs and it's not that I didn't like Past Lives I loved Past Lives but I did like In Our Bones uh, more and I just feel like I gravitate towards rockier songs and so far from what we've heard from this new EP it's a lot heavier and I enjoy that so not only they're my favorite band I like started doing reactions with their previous album and this sounds like my jam so I'm so excited, so let's just get into it because I've talked enough. So as per usual, I have my computer here, I'm going to be listening on Spotify and you are listening with the camera audio, I don't have a microphone because of because you have to hear it well but not so well, so I probably will get copyright issues but I, I don't mind that, I yeah, I don't get anything from YouTube anyway, so you're listening with the camera audio and yeah, as usual I'm gonna skip the songs that I've listened to before, which are actually the first three, that won't save us, Weapon and Again and Again, so we only have four songs left, this is an EP so there's only seven songs and because I skipped three of them, yeah, not a lot. This video won't be as long as my usual uh, reactions, so that's kind of good at the same time. They do take a while to edit, so that's nice for me. Uh, but yeah, from the songs that we've heard before, um, I think Weapon is my favorite. That Won't Save Us was my favorite, but the more I listen to Weapon, the more I like it. I haven't listened to Again and Again as much as the previous two, uh, I like all of them, but I think my favorite is Weapon, let's skip 1, 2 and 3, so That Won't Save Us, Weapon and Again and Again, let's move to song number 4 which is Jump, they will be releasing a video for this one today so I'm excited about that, but as of now let's just listen to Jump.
expecting. It has like really 2000s vibe, I would say. It really reminded me of Paramore, as I said. I liked it. I need to, as usual, like read the lyrics, listen to it a few more times. Um, I think I prefer like the concept of the other uh, songs, like the meaning, but I still enjoyed this one, so yeah. Let's go to song number five. It, this one is called Shatter, and I believe, and at the same time, I hope this is a ballad because we don't have a ballad yet, so yeah, let's listen to Shatter. I guess it is. It is a really pretty song. Actually, I do think I prefer this one to Jump. They have completely different vibes, like Jump is a rockier song. It's like, a, as I said, like it really reminds me of the 2000s rock. And obviously Shatter is a, is a love song. It's sort of a love song. Yeah, it's a ballad, but I do like it and I don't think We've heard like Chrissy's voice in this tone, I guess. So yeah, I liked it. Yeah. We're almost at the end. So number six it's Burn It Down and this has to be like a rock song. I mean it would be an interesting ballad, but I I bet it is like a rockier one and I'm excited about that. Yeah. Oh, it really reminds me of Early Against the Current. It has like those uh, 2000s vibe as well. are just like so nostalgic in a way like they really remind me of like early 2000s rock I don't know they not only this one really reminds me of early against the current like the gravity EP um, but it, it just like makes me think of those earlier rock bands like as I said like Paramore and I don't know Simple Plan and I, I didn't really listen to a lot of Blink-182 but I guess that as well like I guess a more simple rock um, I don't know how to explain it but yeah it's it's a different vibe I want I feel like I want in a bit more mm, I don't know heavier songs like I feel like the first ones the ones that we've listened to are a bit more angry and these ones are just like kind of dreamy but yeah I I've liked them I do need to listen to them a bit more because you know you get used to the ones that you already know but 
yeah let's go to number seven which is called lullaby and i know for a fact that this is not a ballad this is a rock song and i would say this might be the heavier song in the ep uh just because chrissy said um they all said but chrissy said in a live stream that this was not a ballad far from it and from the feedback that i've seen on twitter so far i tried to stay away from it but from what I've seen, this is like most people's favorite. And if this is the heavier one, I this might be my favorite as well. So let's see. This is also the longest song on the EP. So yeah, I'm I mean I have high hopes for this one. So let's let's just hope it's as good as everyone says it is. Just he has those haunting vibes. all the lyrics but from what I saw it's like really different it's mm, it, it is way more intricate than the previous songs I feel like jump and chatter have simple lyrics like straightforward I would say and this one is like really mm, I don't know I feel like it is way more similar to the first ones where it has a lot of metaphors and I don't know I, I enjoyed it I need to again read the lyrics listen to it but I did like it yeah it, it is one of my favorites definitely I don't know if it is my favorite I maybe it is just because I really like weapon as well because I just uh, connect to it on a personal level. I really identify with Weapon. And uh, with that one save us a bit as well. But Weapon. So between Weapon and Lullaby. I don't know which one is my favorite. But I feel like that one save us is up there as well. Like yes the, the, all the other songs are nice. But I feel like the ones they put out first are my favorites but that might change when I just listen to it more because yeah you just get used to the ones you know and you like those uh, but yeah I will definitely keep on listening to it it's so like easy to listen to the EP um, I did skip a few songs yes but overall it is just like 20 minutes long uh, 22 minutes and 32 seconds to be exact so yeah it's a really easy and I think it is also a really relatable uh, EP so yeah I really enjoyed it I'm gonna say as for now um, I yes I think Lullaby might be my favorite and Weapon um, and that won't save us. Those I think are my favorites. Um, 
Yes, I think. But but like weapon and lullaby are really like tied. So yeah. That might change in the future and I might like I don't know. I don't know. So yeah. But yeah, that's it from me. Let me know what you thought of the EP. Let me know also your like top three or your favorite song uh, on the EP. And yeah, I'm really excited to listen to this a bunch more, like a lot more. And yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And I'll see you in my next video.